Today what I want to do is show you one way to set up these trap sets right here. And a lot of times you don't find that snare or twitch pole. So I'm going to show you another way to use these. But it's going to be set up in the same way. You're just going to be use a weight on one end instead of your twitch pole. This here is going to be useful for that and I'm just going to show you how you can set it up. There's a game trail behind me and that's what I'm going to use. I'm not going to leave this set. This is just demonstration. I brought in bank line just because it will be bigger. You'll be able to see it better when I set it up. But what I carry is 40 pound test braided fishing line in my wallet. I have 30 feet of that. So if I had to set this up in a trap scenario and a snare, I could use the 40 pound braided fishing line for a snare for small critters and also for different types of trap setups. I've got that piece of dead log there that I'm going to use as a weight. Now all I have to do is use my bank line, tie it to that, bring it up, wrap it around a branch, and then the other end will be hooked to the top of the trap set. So this here are the trap sets. I'm just going to push from behind, get my nail in there, and pop it out right there. Now what I'll do is I'll hook my bank line to my weight on this side and my snare on this side here. That's what I'm going to do now. So what I'm going to do is stick my bank line in through here first. And I'll tie it to this end first. Now I'm going to just put a knot in this end. Like that. And now I can just wrap this around and basically make a Canadian jam knot. So how I'm going to do this, I'll get lots here. It's going to be like a slip knot. I'm going to bring this around like that and just poke this through. This cannot slip through because of that knot. And that's what I'm going to use with this. And then I can just put this down and tie it to that. Now that's the same way I'm going to make my snare as well. So that there is taut and tied. Now I can run this over top of the tree put this down and hook this to that weighted log. Now, after I'm done that, I can create my snare. going to need two more pieces of bank line. One to make a loop here and one to make my snare on the other end of this. So I'm going to take about this much. It's uh, close to two feet. Cut that off. going to tie my knot in there again and attach it to this other hole. This here is going to be the snare. That same knot. 
it creates a slip knot. Now what I've got to do is I'm going to cut a piece of cordage long enough that I can make a loop out of it. That knife is working great for cutting that bank line. So just going to wrap that around and make a loop. Now I can put that anywhere I want on this tree like this and then set my snare to it. Now of course this can be adjusted as needed. Yeah, I'll have to put that down lower. Always move your eyes out of the way in case that goes off. And then you can put your loop up here by planting stuff in the ground and so on to twitch it out where you want it. I'm going to stand off to the side of this. An animal is going to come through. It's going to get caught in there. When it gets caught, it's going to start pulling around. It's going to pull that trap set off of there. There he is up in the air. That allows the front end of the animal to be up off the ground so they can't reach around and bite the cordage off. And this was used, these twitch type sets were used a lot with natural cordage and such because it would stop them from chewing off the cordage. But as you see, if that was a rabbit, it would be right up off the ground. These here were designed to be a trap set plus a lure for fishing. You put your line on one end and then another line and your hook adds as a weight as well. It doesn't have any action but it does flip around in the water and does give some reflective quality so it does attract some fish. I've used not this one but I've used similar all summer and it's been working great. What I like about this I can put it right back and it's there for the next time. I want to thank you for watching. Take care and all the best.